Hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome back to another episode of Where in Orlando. Right now I'm here in the heart of Orlando, downtown, right off of Lake Eola. Today I'm going to highlight four of the most popular neighborhoods that you have to check out here in downtown Orlando. So I'm gonna show you four of the most popular districts that are a part of the Orlando Main Streets program. It was designed back in 2008 to help bring up the urban lifestyle of our communities by adding money into the artistic side and the entrepreneurial side for commercial businesses to thrive and grow, while also bringing up the neighborhoods by renovating them and adding value. So that way people that move here from all over the country are attracted to it, as well as the locals as well. And it also gives you a great lifestyle and a way of living, especially those that wanna work and live downtown. So welcome to the first neighborhood I'm gonna show you, College Park. If you're from Orlando or know about the area, you've heard of College Park, it's been here for a long time. They really have revamped the artistic side and the creative side by adding in nice restaurants and nice shops that, have, that showcase all of the art and showcase all of the products that people like, such as the ice cream shop where you can come and enjoy a late night snack, or even all the other restaurants that they have up and down Edgewater Drive. You have the high school, the Edgewater High School that's down the street. College Park is one of the more sought after parts of Orlando to live in here in the northwest part of downtown Orlando. All right, so right now I'm standing right here in the heart of the Hourglass District. This area has definitely been built up and it's definitely the place to be. You'll see the Foxtail Coffee across the street and they got the Hourglass Social House where you can grab a drink and a bite to eat. And then right over here, we have the Hourglass Brewery and they have this Italian kitchen. There's some other restaurants around the Cilantro's, Mexican street food, that one's awesome. And they got the gas station. It's got a really hipster, modern, millennial feel to it over here, but they've got a lot of mid-century modern built homes that have been fully renovated and they really add to the vibe around here. So if you're working downtown or you wanna live Southeast downtown, just 10 minutes away from the actual downtown area, this is definitely a place to check out. So right now I'm here in the Milk District. It's a vibe out here in the Milk District. It's got this California, but also that true Florida feel to it. We got the sand beach volleyball courts over here. And then we got the skate park off to the side over here. I even see they have a big ramp on the other side as well. There's a park over here where people are playing soccer. It's a perfect day in Orlando right now. It doesn't get much better than this. It's 70 degrees, sun's out. We're right next to the executive airport and we're only 10 minutes away from downtown Orlando. And they've got really nice homes over here. Same mid-century modern vibe to it, but definitely something different. So you gotta come check out the Milk District. Right now I'm standing here in Thornton Park. This is one of the most popular neighborhoods in Orlando because of its proximity to downtown. It's right across the street from downtown, literally. You have Lake Eola Park that you can take advantage of. Lake Eola has a path that goes all the way around it that's over a mile long that people love coming to run and exercise on. And you can also enjoy all the green space as well. Here's where they do the farmer's market on the weekend. Right here is where they'll host all the different vendors that people love coming to do, shop, and pick up their different local artisan market products that you can do here at the farmer's market. There's a ton of nice restaurants that are built right here in downtown Thornton Park. You have all the restaurants that are underneath the condos, and you have a few that are in the right next to your neighborhood. So if you wanna come grab a bite to eat with your family, enjoy the time after you get done working downtown, this is a perfect place to live. Mid-century modern homes, renovated homes, duplexes, you can do condos, you can get apartments, anything is possible here in Thornton Park. All right, so that's a wrap on today's episode here of downtown Orlando. 
showed you four of the most popular districts. If you have any questions about downtown Orlando, the neighborhoods, the amenities, of course, I'd love to help you out. Send me a message anytime. I'm here for you. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then.